Greetings, sports fans! Welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is episode 34 of Booze and Baseball Cards. Tonight, we are breaking this box of Tops Fire, the Target exclusive. Uh, our booze tonight is Rehop. Uh, this was a beer I had earlier when I was doing the channel and just thought I'd bring it back around. We got our Lucky Yankee Cup, which I noticed last time it occurred to me that I was drinking whiskey not out of this and didn't have the greatest breaks. It was okay, but not great. So we're hoping for the good luck again. We got the awesome Yankee Cup from Duncan. Uh, let's have our first sip. Mmm. It's pretty good stuff. From Italy. Um... I don't know a bunch about Topps Fire. Uh, didn't get any, you know, because I just got back into the hobby, so it's not like I was getting it last year. Uh, what I can tell you is uh, it's 20 packs per box, six cards per pack. Uh, the big deal with it, I guess, is this Tyson Beck Designs. He is an Australian graphic designer, uh, mostly a basketball guy, but I guess Topps gets into it with him for this product. Um there's a 200-card base set. Um, there are single, double, and triple autos, as well as patch autos and relic cards. Um, so we're going to see what it's like. Uh, I will admit it's quite busy. Um, if you've watched other episodes, you know this channel it focuses on the art of the cards a bit. And uh, I'm not a big fan of busy uh, which these are, but we'll, we'll see how we like them. Uh, I've been looking at some of the reviews on uh, Cardboard Connection, and they're not great. Um, just, I think people agree, like, they're too busy. Um, they're not getting great hits. Uh, so they, we'll see how it works for us. Ralph Kiner, I was not aware that it had throwback players. We got something shiny. Scherzer. There's our... Friggin' autograph in the first pack. How about that? Uh, I failed to mention the autographs are stickers, which we all know suck. Uh, another vintage. But it's Walker Bueller, uh, who is a really good pitcher, so I'm not going to hate on this poll. Uh, he's a really good pitcher. I had a blast watching the uh, duel between him and Jack Flaherty uh, the other day. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you out in the East Coast didn't get that game, but it was a beauty, man. They were just, it was a duel. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Walker Bueller, which means, that's our hit, basically. I can't friggin' believe we got it in the first pack. Although I did sort of, I didn't shuffle them. I just took them all out of the box. Uh, so there you have it. <laughs> and there's Glaber right there. Well, we're coming out on what? On fire. Let's have a sip to that. Mmm. Well, I'm not hating it because we got Glaber out of the second pack and Walker Bueller Auto out of the first. So, so far, so good. It is busy, uh, I'll admit. And this is, there's a bunch of inserts. I don't know what they're all called. Oh, this is a number, 299 out of 299. Well, that's pretty cool. So far, this has been fun. <laughs> I mean, we're barely into it. It's 20 packs. And we've pulled a Walker Bueller auto and number 299 out of 299 Max Freed. Uh, I always think it's awesome anytime you get, you know, like number one or the last number or like an even number or the player's number. So that's pretty cool. Duke Snyder. And there's Glaber. There's that. Give you a good look at the Glaber. We'll recap it all at the end, of course. Uh, and per usual, if uh, you see cards you like, Check the description below for info on the Clarice Goldberg Scholarship. Uh, big part of the channel is raising money for that. And so if you see cards you want, you just send me a message. And uh, I'm happy to give cards to people, uh, especially if they make little pledges. Got a long way to go before we get to the fully funded scholarship. Uh, but even if you can't afford to make a pledge and you see a card you want, just hit me up and we'll see what we can do. Jay Garrietta. That's pretty cool. Ooh, nice Don Mattingly. Dig that. Ahmed Rosario. Set over the... We'll call that a hit. Um, 
this, let's see, what is this? This is cannons, I think. So they have uh, cannons and like speedsters and stuff like that. So this is one of the insert sets. Um, I'll say it's pretty cool uh, that the smoke looks, you know, kind of 3D like an explosion. So that's kind of neat. These cards are busy, but so far I don't mind it as much as I usually do, particularly on these inserts. They have uh, some cool action going on. I don't think it's as cool on the base, though, like the Glaber card. Not quite as cool. Giancarlo, lo, lo, lo. Oh, and a Severino. I wonder if that's... So this is probably also cannons, or is this a base? I wish there was... I, I guess I'll have to check the, the uh, set list and see. Number 47, so I'm going to guess no. Yeah, so that's just a base, but like a foil. Interesting. Got Jed Larry. Another Walker. Bueller. Bueller. <laughs> nothing, nothing good. We've seen everything good. Mike Trout. Should work on not spoiling it every time, huh? When you see the back card. Not Paul O'Neill. Uh... Tyler O'Neill, Big Mac, Joey Gallo. This is, I don't know what this is. PP, power or something maybe? Pull side power? Okay, if you say so. And another foil, another numbered, 51 out of 199. And the Trout Man, card number 100. Well, <laughs> I don't know about the reviews online, but this hasn't been a, a crappy box, I would say, so far. And we still got a long way to go. Dig it. But we are hunting for who? Miguel and do you believe in miracles? We better get one. We all know I don't pull it. Nice satchel page right there. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Ozzy Albies. Joey Bato. That's a pretty sweet one. This is uh, tops. It would be nice if you actually put whatever the insert was on the card so we knew what the hell you were trying to tell us. SD, um, Speed Demons, I'm going to say. Because I see Speed there. Yeah, so let's go with Speed Demons. Very cool, though. Again, the, the foil or whatever you want to call it, that's pretty cool. And they're all really glossy i'd say i put it on par with like bowman platinum um but it's awesome that the player doesn't foil up so it, it gives you a really awesome three-dimensional look that's pretty cool again weird i mean we're rolling this is pretty good pretty good i'd say uh i don't know if i'll get another box i do have two packs of it in pick a pack so definitely stick around for uh ripping live birthday edition because maybe we'll pull that out of pick a pack Wade Boggs, Wilson Contreras, Dominic Smith, is that numbered? No. Just another cool foil. Mr. October, Reggie Jackson, Doc Gooden. Well, that's they got a lot of these um, like foil inserts, which is pretty cool. Let's have a sip here, folks, because so far we are crushing, I would say. The only thing that would have made that better is uh, if that autograph had been Anduhar. But maybe if we can just pull one Anduhar, because I think he's got three in the set. His base and then two insert rookies, uh, rookie cards. Ooh, and uh, a relic, Wilson Contreras. Uh, that might go to um, Like a Hot Cards, because he was so awesome by giving me that Aaron Judge. Um, might have to send this his way. Was just also talking with Natalie Wu. What's up, Natalie Wu? Um, she does like Wilson Contreras, um, and I was I'm gonna send her some cards, but um, might have to send that to Like a Hawk to reciprocate his kindness. Reese Hoskins. All this awesomeness leads me to believe that my luck is either too good in the beginning, and I'm not gonna get an Anduhar, or we just came out on literal fire. And 
it's just going to keep going. Maybe it's our day because we got the lucky cup. Canseco. Chance Cisco. Will Myers. And Garrett Cooper. Yeah, you're supposed to get, as you look at this, you get one guaranteed autograph, and they say you get one additional hit per one of these, uh, I'd call it a hobby box, a collector box, I don't know. But we got two numbered cards, an autograph, a bunch of these foils. Phil Rizzuto, the Scooter. I do love any Phil Rizzuto card. He's a, a fan favorite in my household. Verlander. Burt, blah, 11. Ooh, fired up Max Scherzer. Uh, I can't quite tell. Yeah, I guess it's like a foil. There's Tyson Beck's name on it. Not numbered, though. Big to Phil Rizzuto. Come on, Miguel. Come on, Miguel. Been researching my play that I might write. Inspired a little bit by Miguel Andujar. Having a good time with that. Roger Clemens foil. Acuna rookie. Pedro. Seeing a lot of cards here from people uh, that are PC players of people who I've been chatting with. So uh, leave a comment or send me an email or do both. Even better, slam that like button, you know. Because uh, I'm not married to these except for the stuff I'm going to obviously PC. And I'd be happy to send these to some people. Another foil. Jose Ramirez, not numbered. You Darvish, Paul DeYoung. All right, come on, Blake Snell. Yankees should have got him. There we go. Yeah! Sorry if that's loud. Still working on the volume for my channel. But there we go. Boom! Now this box has been worth it. Totally worth it now. No complaints at all. At least we got one Andujar rookie out of it. It's sort of interesting because the, there's so much business on the card that it makes you feel like maybe corners are nicked up and stuff, but I don't think they are. I think it's just the business. But hot, hot. So we got Glaber and Andujar. Going to finish, finish uh, one and two, Andujar being one in Rookie of the Year, of course. Nice goose gossage there. That feels a little different, too. Is that, yeah, it's just his base, but for a minute there, it looked a little, a little different. Man alive, let's drink to that. Cheers, everybody. And do you believe in miracles? You know I do. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hot box, baby. Hot box. I don't know what people are hating on. Maybe I just got, like, the best box. I don't know. And I haven't seen any breaks yet. I haven't seen anybody else do breaks. Another foil. Carlos Correa. Interesting. Chris Sale. Iron Man. Sandberg. Cool Sandberg card. That's part of the base set. Really cool. Fun stuff. I, it's definitely fun when you get the cards you want, you know what I mean? There's only 200 cards in the base set, though, so I feel like uh, you're going to get close to most of it out of a box with 20 packs. There's baseball card babe's favorite, Bryce Harper. There's Zach Greinke. Foil. Charlie Blackman. Let's get one more Anduhar. Like some kind of insert. One more hit would be awesome. That Johnny Bench. It is Johnny Bench. Nice Francisco Lindor. Schwarber. Put it up on the Schwarbard, everybody. Patrick Corbin. Not familiar. I don't know what HS is. Uh... That would be, you know, that's kind of my complaint with this mostly is just that I don't know what these inserts are because they're not putting it on the card. Oh, that's a sweet looking young Johnny Bench. Look at the sideburns on that kid. Man alive. Big red machine. That's a cool one. Dig that. 
we are definitely getting a lot of cool cards. There's no chumps in here, it doesn't look like, which I notice more and more with modern cards is you don't really, you know, as we do the Throwback Thursdays and vintage rips and stuff, you see there's a lot of, you know, guys that are not great players, and nowadays you're getting basically just the superstars and no, no chumps. Which, I don't know, it's kind of funny, because you know, sometimes those chumps become, you know, amazing players. Cody Bellinger, that's a sweet looking Cody Bellinger. Another Correa, foil. Really cool. Man, we got a lot to recap. Maybe that's what this is about, is just like exploding with inserts. One more sip. Actually, we got a little bit more in here. Pour it up. One for me, one for my homies. All right, last three packs. KB for the PC. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Kind of light. They really blew that one out for some reason. When you compare it, I mean, to the pack, it's really not faded. It's just blown out lighting-wise. Ooh, Big Hurt. That's a cool-looking Big Hurt card. Awesome. Another Severino. So that's why I was asking, hoping I'd get another Andujar, some kind of insert. Look, we got two Sevy cards. And Kinsler, DeGrom. All right. Last two packs. A-Rod. Uh, I will say, so in my research for uh, this project I'm working on, I've been watching a lot of Miguel Andujar interviews, and he said his favorite players were A-Rod and Manny Ramirez. And I just got to say, Miguel, if you're listening, amigo, do not follow in their footsteps. Both users, you don't want to follow it. You're too good to get caught up in that crap. It's a little sad. Nice Javi Baez there. Natalie Wu, you can have that one. Definitely putting together a little spoils pack for Natalie Wu. We definitely need more diversity, more women in the hobby. And so I'm very excited to have folks watching that can help contribute to that. We definitely need it. Oh, and look at that. Last pack, Otani. Which, now that he's hitting... Uh, it is fun. It's fun to watch him and Trout go back to back. Um, he maybe he should just hit. I, I really don't know. He is really young. I've been sort of hard on him because they, you know he was hurt with like blisters, which I just think is weak. Um, but he's you know when he hits, he hits. I'll give him that. So we got that's pretty hot though for that box. We got Glaber, Anduhar, and Otani. Cool Tom Seaver. And I think Greg Bird got Wally Pipped by John Voigt there, Luke Voigt, and Mejia, who you think they would have been able to get him in a Padres gear. I think he's with the Padres. Yeah, Bird, he might have got Wally pipped because Luke Voigt just looks like he's having a blast, and he hits them when they matter. All right, let's do a recap. Oh, my goodness gracious. These are the hits. That's the hits, not even counting the awesomeness right there. Let's try to do it fast. We're at 19 minutes. I'm sorry, folks, but, uh, I mean, what are you going to do? Do it like this so I can make my thumbnail. Thumbnails are important. Otani. Would have been cool to get, uh, like, an insert Otani, but I don't really mind. I sound like I PC him really hard, but I'm just I definitely am interested in picking up his rookie cards in hopes that he has a great career. Severino. Big Hurt. KB. Correa. I think when I took him out, I must have, you know, all the hits maybe were in the middle or on the bottom, and I they just wound up on the top there. Acuna rookie. National League rookie of the year, I would say. 
Clemens. Oh, the Clemens is numbered two. 166 out of 299. Scooter. Don't underestimate the little guys. Fired up Max Scherzer. Hoskins. Cool Contreras relic. Dig that. I wish it would have been like the Cub pinstripe. I don't really love them when they're just a solid boring color, like gray or white. Um, but if they're like the KB I showed yesterday that's blue or those pirates that are really great yellow, those are cool. Really cool trout. We've got two of these like foil trout cards. So that's pretty neat. I don't, you know, I, I, I do collect his cards because he's the best player. He's fun to watch, all that sort of stuff. But it's interesting that I'm pulling them because I, it's not like I'm jonesing for it. Nice Albies. There's the Trout Man. There's Anderson Simmons out of 51 out of 199. Joey Gallo. Bueller, rookie. He's sick. There's that other Severino. Stanton. I think this one's number. Nope, that's just something cool. Mattingly. Freed, 299 out of 299. I'm I'm not very familiar with Max Freed if he is like a boss or not. So chime in if you're a Braves fan and let me know. And of course, our monsters. The monster hits for me. Even just the base is a monster for me. All day, Miggy two bags. All day. Glaber. Looks like he's finally maybe coming off his uh, DL schneid. He was definitely having a little trouble, but he seems to be back to getting at least close to raking again. And uh, Walker Bueller autograph. So we got like, I'd say four or five hits. I mean, you've got three of those numbered cards, I think. Autograph and a relic, which I'd say is pretty good for $69.99. We didn't get cheap, uh, you know, didn't get cheated on uh, any of the, the hits there. Um, so, yeah, I, I would, I mean, for a good break, for a fun break, I would definitely recommend it. It's not going to break the bank. And, I mean, if you're into this kind of really busy, busy kind of stuff, um, you're going to get some cool stuff. So, uh, leave a comment below. Uh, let me know what you thought. Let me know if you're breaking any. Uh, really appreciate you watching. And I'll see you next time on Booze and Baseball Cards.